start with the Mediterranean diet. So this is a 5,000-year-old way of eating that's been validated by modern science. And when I say validated, these are studies that have been published in journals like Circulation, the Lyon study uh, being the, one, the main one, 600 people for five years. The, the Predimed study is more recent. They looked at 7,447 people. They followed them for five years and they published the results in the New England Journal of Medicine, one of the most prestigious medical journals there is, and what they found is a 30% reduction in cardiovascular and stroke events. That is, the, the, the authors of that study published it earlier than scheduled as a matter of global public health to get this information out there. And, you know, as another benefit, a separate trial showed that people on a Mediterranean diet lost 52% more weight than people on what you'd consider kind of a traditional uh, low-fat diet. So we start with real food, and there's these products that actually help you get the most out of it. They provide you with uh, energy, thermogenesis, avoiding the common mistakes or hurdles that people have when they're really trying to lose weight. They eat unhealthy snacks, they don't get enough fiber, uh, they eat at night, and, and so it's a simple program, and it's designed to work. You take three, you make three, and you do it for three. And Janine did a fantastic job describing these, so I'll touch on these just briefly. Burn in the morning, you're going to have energy and thermogenesis you know, to get your day started. Uh, sustain in the afternoon, you're replacing an unhealthy uh, snack, a bag of chips or a candy bar with a protein, a clean protein shake that tastes good, that gives you zero grams of sugar and the protein you need to avoid that lull and avoid the temptation. It's important, the zero grams of sugar is really important because you wanna avoid this roller coaster that people get on where you're too hungry and then you eat too much and your blood sugar is in the craving zone and then it goes up into the fat storage zone. Skipping that is an important key to, uh, to weight loss success. And sink in the evening. Sink has three kinds of fiber in it. It's not, a, it's not like a Metamucil with one, you know, bunch of fiber and a bunch of sugar, by the way. Look at the label. Um, it's a product that has insoluble fiber, which is grandma called roughage. Keep things moving. It's a good thing. I'm happy to stand up in front of a couple hundred people and talk about roughage. I think more people should do that. They'd be happier. There's, uh, there's insoluble fiber, which is what actually forms a gel with fat in your stomach, so it keeps the, it keeps the fat in, in, your, in your gut. Uh, and, second, and, and thirdly, uh, it's got prebiotic fibers. Prebiotic fibers are critically important because they're not even digestible by you. Fiber is indigestible uh, in general, so it's not adding to your calorie count, but it feeds the beneficial bacteria that are already in your gut to make you healthier. These are important, these serve a lot of important health functions. So you feel better on this. Um, the fibers we're using have patents on them. They've been clinically studied and there's a huge fiber gap in this country. Um, you're supposed to get, according to the US government, the USDA, you're supposed to get 30 grams of fiber every day. The average American gets 12 to 14 grams of fiber. So there's already this gap and missing on that fiber alone can cause um, what my slide here says, like kind of a train wreck inside and we want to avoid that. So the, then you make three. You make a commitment, a pledge, to do three of these five things that help you on your path beyond the nutrition components that are provided in the kit. You walk 7,500 steps, move your body, drink five 12 ounce glasses of water, you cut fried foods, you cut white stuff. The white stuff is the highly refined sugars and flours that are 70% of the standard American diet. The average American diet is getting 70% of their calories from processed foods. And we're breaking that pattern uh, and avoiding sodas as well. So you do this every single day. So the idea is you wake up in the morning, it fits your lifestyle, you have your burn with breakfast after hopefully a, a walk, uh, you go about your day, go to work, or do what you do during the day. That afternoon, craving hits and you're hungry, and you reach for your, your, your protein product and you put it in there and you're sustained. You're sustained through that lull period and you avoided the bag of chips or the, or the uh, candy bar. And at night, 
uh, night eating is a big part of what we, when we observe the behavioral component of weight gain or failure to lose weight, eating after dinner, eating at night. The fiber does the, all the good things that fiber does in sync, but it also av- stops you from doing the negative behavior pattern, which is you know the bowl of ice cream right before bed or something, whatever people do there. So there's, there's behavioral components built into this. And then you do it for three. Why three months? I've heard, oh, well, you can change a habit in seven days or 21 days. That's not true. That's not what the science says. What the science says is that it takes 90 days to, uh, to change a habit and make it perfect.